Hello you guys and welcome back to my walkthrough for Mass Effect 3. We're continuing the D Leviathan DLC and I believe that this is probably going to be the end of it. We're getting ready to get into this mech so that we can go into the ocean to find Leviathan. So let's go ahead and, and speak with Cortez and set out. You ready for a swim? Let's go. Take care down there, Commander. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Commencing dive in three, two, one. Looks good so far. Good. Getting some here. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! Not sure if you can read me up there. Looks like I've finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operational. You guys, this is awesome. Wow. Can we see? No, we can't really look up. Okay. This is amazing. Scanner indicates the probe is below my position. Looking for a way down. <clears throat> Shutting down all non-critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. This is very eerie. Something scary is gonna happen. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. Reading the probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. Oh, wow. This does not look good. Can't see anything just yet. Found the probe. Seems intact. I'm gonna keep moving. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> Where did I just shoot that flare? What is that? Whoa, 
there's something under here. to know why. They are the enemy. One that seeks our extermination. But... I thought you were a Reaper. They are only echoes. We existed long before. Then what are you? Something more. happening your memories give voice to our words your nature will be revealed to us except this you took down a reaper you could help win this war why the hell are you hiding down here there is no war there is only the harvest then help us stop it None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species can be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat. And I must understand why. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. But what's the point? of all these harvests. The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays to speed the time between cycles to greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? 
you cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle from the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. I just shot up a bunch of those. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. If you release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. You're responsible for this. Every race that's ever been destroyed is because of you. And now the Reapers will destroy you too, unless you start fighting. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop, ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. I've earned it. Out there fighting where you should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Today, they pay their tribute in blood.
Shepard's back. How we doing, Cortez? We're good to go. I don't know what the commander did, but the pulse is offline. Commander, wake up! She's freezing! <coughs> Are you all right? <coughs> yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Hell of a headache. We're lucky we got you back. What happened down there? We found it. It's real. A lot more than we ever imagined. So was it worth almost dying for? It was. We exposed it. Pushed it into the light. Whether it likes it or not, it's part of this war now. And it's gonna help fight. <laughs> Sounds like a hell of a story. Yeah. One for the history books. Finish reading a report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. Wow. So... <laughs> okay, I have to say that it was a little bit weaker than I thought it should have been. It's really neat that you get to learn that Leviathan is, this is what I got from it, it's a, an organic being and they created the synthetic reapers. And the reapers took them down basically like the Geth took the Corian down. It's insane. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Uh, well, we'll read that after. Let's go around Normandy and speak with the crew. Commander. And, uh, see if anything... If we have any new dialogues. I have to check with James. Possibly even Javik. We'll finish that crucible soon. There won't be a galaxy left to save. Commander. So the Reapers did not fully exterminate their creators. That suggests they are fallible, even on large or long-term scales. Auxiliary power units are depleted to 82.04% capacity. This should be corrected. Yeah, I'll get it before we go in atmosphere again. I will run a diagnostic on it. Edie, we've got five of them. According to the diagnostic, we now have four. Hello, Shepard. Hmm. So, some of the squad members might have dialogue. Before we check our messages, let's just double check with everybody. Commander? Okay, let's go to deck five.
Can't say I was happy sending you down in that submersible by yourself. Don't know why I ever worry about you. Take on ancient aliens from the deep? Sure, no problem. Good to see you, Commander. Let's see if we can find that ship. Oh, the one that we're missing from our quarters. Over here. Hmm. Oh, an eel. How did we miss that? I have a feeling it's not going to be here. Nope. With the Leviathan on our side, maybe we pull this thing off after all. Maybe, James. Too bad Anne never got to see her dad's work pay off. I can't wait to take the fight to the elusive man. I wonder what he's thinking right now. You just know he's got a plan. Wait a minute. Is Anne dead? I saw the crucible data Hackett sent. I don't know what the hell it does, but damn if it isn't impressive. Hey. Hmm. That's questionable right now. Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. Commander. I think in this episode we're going to go up to the captain's cabin. What do we got? Tully's down here. I have studied your human religions, Commander. Your devil and his fall. Leviathan and its kind deserve the same fate. They once unleashed a plague that has haunted all of our history. To this day, I say their own hell is the abyss you found them in. One I hope they never escape from. I'd have to agree. Seeing all these primitives flying spaceships is... Unexpected and very dangerous. For one who claims to be an expert on my people, your Asari knows very little. Commander. Right now I have to say that the DLC that I've played... Do you ever feel awkward being the only Turian on the ship? I don't know. Should I? I just mean not having anyone else like you around. Mm, doesn't seem to bother Liara. But she can eat their food. I have to say that the DLC that I've played, the Eden Prime has been the best. So we have Leviathan. I hope it stays on our side. Good to see you. I think that the Eden Prime has put more into this game than any other DLCs for the for the series actually nice to have everyone back on dry land so to speak you know whenever we discover something amazing like that I wonder what else might be out there. Or even right under our noses. Hey, Shepard. So it looks like they do have something just real quick to say about Leviathan. Just not a lot. Commander. 
I mean, Chuck was is just unfazed by Leviathan. She doesn't even care that we're indoctrinated now, basically. At least that's what I'm thinking because of the whole nosebleed thing and anybody who was taken over by Leviathan was indoctrinated. Shepard, I looked over your mission report. Gotta say, it feels like we've been after these Reapers forever. From Sovereign to Leviathan, they've been a pain in the ass the whole time. But at least we're starting to see the big picture. Never really thought we'd get any answers. It doesn't change much, but it does make this war feel a whole lot bigger. Maybe later. Always later with you. At least he's not saying uh, calibrations, that he has calibrations to make. Enjoy your day. Oh, Glyph. I can only imagine talking to something so huge, so alien. I hope it helps against the Reapers. Thanks for coming by. Okay, nothing at the Shadow Burger Terminal. Nothing here. So let's go up to the captain's cabin and read our messages up there. We also have eels. Oh, it looks so cool. <laughs> Feast, my loves. A little squeak. <laughs> I don't even know if you guys can hear him. He he goes beep. Email. Still kicking, Gray Sato. Commander Shepard just want to say how indebted I am to you. Just not for saving my life, but for giving me a greater sense of purpose. After our ordeal securing the array base on on Tarom. I now know I have something more than my technical expertise to offer. Glad to hear you doing well. Grace. Yeah, I'm surprised that we didn't get any type of pickup for that weird ass head in Dr. Bryson's office. Commander. Okay, you guys, so let's see what we got going on here. I think that... Well, it looks like we'll be going to the Citadel DLC next. I read up on this mission, and it said that sometimes it glitches for Xbox 360 or PC users. Um... They say that if you go to a different place on the Citadel and just go back to the embassies where this gentleman is, that it normally fixes itself, but sometimes it doesn't, so we might not be able to finish this mission, and it's kind of annoying to me. Uh, yeah, so shore leave is basically what we want to do before we go on and fight the big guys. So let's go ahead and make our way over to the Citadel. I think we're gonna run out of fuel here. Uh, but we'll go ahead and go with uh, taking a shore leave just before going to fight Cerberus at their home base. Visit Anderson's apartment. So I've heard of a lot of good things about this DLC, and I'm actually looking forward to this one. I've heard that it's uh, funny, and you get to meet some of your crew members. Um, 
without going to, into too much detail, I'll go ahead and leave it right there. But yeah, this so this is another DLC that I have not played. Hopefully it is better than the Leviathan DLC we just finished. And uh, yeah, so I want to thank you guys for subscribing, liking, commenting, and I will see you in the next one. Stay tuned.